What makes a person of interest? Good morning. Good morning, folks. Coach Burt, where am I at? I'm in Dallas, Texas. I'm in Dallas, Texas this morning. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Look at that. That awesome. That's what's awesome right there. We need one of those in the greatness factory. What's up, folks? Thomas C. Davidson. Good morning, folks. Brian King. Coach Burt, Dallas, Texas, just worked out at F45, and, man, it kicked our butt. <laughs> Ooh, there's so many cool places in Dallas. Good morning, Greg Hirsch. Good to see you. Freddie Blanton, what's up? I come out of these workouts, Carrie Ann, and I've always got a thought. One of my most controversial thoughts that really some people absolutely love is this concept of do I have to find my why to do something big in the world? And my, my personal belief, my personal belief is that to do something big in the world, you don't have to find your why first, Lisa Newman. I want everybody to really listen to this. I've been coaching people for 28 years. There are so many people who are paralyzed because they don't feel like they found their purpose yet. I actually believe that when you pursue something, you work the muscle, you try things, I actually believe your purpose finds you. Okay, now I know this goes against some, some, some popular concepts out there. I think Simon Sinek is an absolute genius. Um, I think Simon Sinek is an absolute genius, Rachel Putney. But I personally do not believe you have to find your why before you do something big. I didn't know I wanted to coach people till I started coaching people. What's up, Anthony? I didn't know I wanted to speak and coach around the world till I started doing it. I didn't know. I didn't know until I did it. So my belief, my, my message to you, and I wrote the book, This Ain't No Practice Life, would be a good, and I hope this frees a lot of people up, is that when you pursue something big, you have a thought that's a prey drive thought, you take an action. You have a thought, you take an action. You have a thought, you take an action. And in the pursuit of something, your purpose kind of finds you, Steve Martinez. Okay, and so I've got, I actually got a chapter in my next book called that. Right? So so what's the lesson here? Don't let me get run over, Mike. That's cool. Now that's cool. Maybe that could be a greatness factor right there, folks. Look at that. Okay? What's up, Belinda? So I'm telling I'm giving everybody permission out there. If you've been paralyzed, if you if you if you've ever thought that man I can't figure out what my purpose is, if you've ever been told, right, if you've ever felt lost and confused, man, I'm giving you permission. I'm telling you take something that you're interested in and pursue it right if you want to write a book pursue writing a book if you want to speak pursue speaking i was talking to a guy yesterday and he was so confused he was so confused right <laughs> he was so confused i mean i don't know what to do and i said man confusion is just randomness in motion latifa that's all it is confusion is a problem that appears to have no solution to it <sighs> come on can't get away from the guy blowing the street off. Amber, good Lord. So, <laughs> Amber Walsh, hey, you ain't got to find your purpose to do something big, girl. You start doing, you start pursuing a, a curiosity, purpose finds you. That's what happened to me. So, I'm not opposed to that concept. I'm just saying, don't feel paralyzed because you don't quite know yet what you're supposed to be doing, Josh. Just take an action, man. Take a, take, a, take a movement, take an energy, take something towards something. And I'm telling you, man, good things are going to happen, guys. I'm in Dallas, Texas. I'm speaking today to 300 insurance people. Folks, we're, we're, we're getting back and moving. We're traveling. We're speaking. We're coaching. I want to encourage you to, too, man. Don't be stationary. Dynamic, static, and tropic. Those are three states of motion. So let me wrap it up. One way to find your purpose is to pursue things you're interested in. And, and you will know, in my opinion, when you start doing something, the world's gonna tell you, Scott Ayers, this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. This is exactly who you're supposed to be working with. Is this exactly what you're supposed to be doing? This is exactly how you're supposed to be doing it, man. Lori Stye, good morning from Dallas, folks. Let's have a big day. Let's go.